that is a shock absorber. It's not attached to the car. That is what it's supposed to look like. We've had our first mechanical breakdown in the Dragon Slayer here in Grand Junction, Colorado, but we are headed to a friend's shop to fix it. The roads are just so rough, don't know what happened yet. The car has been absolutely perfect up until this point. So uh, we're gonna go figure out if the bolt sheared off or fell out or whatnot and try to get that fixed up so we can get back on the road. Well, we got her in Keith from Flying Miata's uh, home shop and yep, shock has come out. The bolt is not broken in there, it's just plain missing. So uh, those nasty gnarly roads beat the snot out of this thing and it just fell out. So. Uh, trying to find another one. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's really long though is the problem So we're trying to locate another one or something that can work uh, So we can get this back attached so we can make it home because uh, this is hey. what we need This morning got up looked under the car and the rear shock bolt the lower shock bolt had just disappeared just gone it just rattled loose from the terrible roads we have um, the car otherwise was fine other than that so we immediately of course got aggressive motorsports and hey help us out and uh keith from flying miata as you saw uh answered right away and said hey come on over and uh, we'll see what we can do so we lift the car to his house this morning he put it up on his lift uh, the bolt was a really weird sized bolt. It was a metric 14 by 1.5 thread. It was like 85 millimeters long. Uh, didn't have anything at the shop that would work. So he started phoning some friends and we found this really awesome Porsche race shop that had like a whole bunch of really awesome 356s. And uh, the guy pulled in in a 911 slant nose, so 930 actually. It was really wild. But yeah, he had like a pile of old trailing arms from 911s and he pulled the bolt out of one of them, but it was literally the exact same bolt. So. Went back to Keith's house, put it in the car. Everything was perfect, turned everything down um, and hit the road. So we are now in Idaho. We went all the way through Utah, went past Moab, turned, went up Highway 6. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Idaho was stunning. Um, but yeah, just blew through everything there and now blowing through Idaho. We are actually almost to Boise already. We are winding down the end of day five. Tomorrow will be our last day. We're gonna get up in Boise and just go straight home. We were, we had like kind of some alternate routes if we wanted to do anything else fun, but I think we're just done at this point. Uh, but yeah, everything on the car is doing really well. After fixing that bolt, it's just been fine as could be as usual. And uh, we're just puttering and lying along now. So uh, yeah, it's been another great day in the 944 going cross country. And uh, we're this close now on the map, this close. See ya uh, in the next one.